Hello and welcome guys. Myself Alpna. I hope you all are doing fine. In today's video I'll be talking about forensic science. Many of you don't know the actual meaning of it. So I thought let's make a video about it. So without wasting any time let's begin. Forensic science. Whenever I say forensic science and forensic scientist mean a person who helps in solving the crime the very first thing comes in everyone's mind is oh cid wala ka which is actually not true because in most of the tv shows and drama what they try to show is that if there is a crime and if there is a investigator that particular person can do each and everything to solve that crime and which is not true at all forensic science is a vast field there are many subdivisions sub field let's say fingerprinting so if i am fingerprint expert so i can solve anything which is related to fingerprint i can solve cases where i need to examine the fingerprint but suppose if there is a crime scene jahan par i got some blood so if that blood come to me to examine first of all wo mere paas aayega na examination ke liye but in case if it comes i won't be able to do so so if there is a crime scene there there is uh, like a one single person cannot solve it completely there are many people there are many subdivision which work for that particular crime scene so let's see forensic science we already know what science is science we work on experiment observation and theory we do some experiment uske basis pe observation and then uh, we just make some theory and we don't know the accuracy of this theory so we just perform that experiment again and then observe it again so that's how science work now when we talk about forensic forensic is like segregation of all the sciences in order to solve the crime that means forensic science uses philosophy of all the sciences let's say all the sciences that means medical yes of course dealing with body let's say engineer yeah if any crime occurs related to building like building collapsed so at that time we will use this particular knowledge let's say documentation if there is a fraud related to documents of course we'll use this particular knowledge documentation or any other field of science we can use any field of science in order to solve the crime whether it's physics chemistry biology or anything so let's divide forensic science into two different part it is basically divided so what is forensic science we use philosophy of all the sciences to solve the crime that is forensic science and one particular person cannot be expert of each and everything if i am fingerprint expert i cannot solve the dna thing even though i am expert i don't know so i cannot do that so basically forensic science is divided into two main part that is forensic medicine and forensic science now to perform anything which is related to forensic medicine and if you want to come in this field you must have a mbbs degree so that means only a doctor can do this what what they can do they can like examine body whether it's alive or dead so of course you are working on a body so you need some expertise that is mbbs you cannot just complete a bachelor degree and then go for that and then when we talk about forensic science it comes like the main divisions are dna drugs ballistic document documentation physical evidences fingerprinting apart from this there are many more like biological like if we talk about the division biology chemistry physics general division etc now how this particular thing work like what is your role if you are a forensic scientist or something so see 
there there are different type of evidences let's say evidences are there in the scene let's say evidence is present in the scene so now what we can do is first we can check the reliability like how much that evidence is reliable how much we can trust that evidence ab aisa nahi hona chahiye na ki just because we think that is evidence hum kisi innocent ko guilty prove kar de and how much extent like percentage let's suppose i have a paper so us paper pe main kitna trust kar sakti hu ki agar ye paper a hai ek person ke paas wo same paper b hai to ye dono link hai और ये दोनों सेम है लिंक जस्ट नहीं है सेम ही है तो इसका परसेंटेज में लेट्स से सेवेंटी परसेंट क्योंकि ये जो बुक है वो रेयर है बट इतनी भी रेयर नहीं है कि सबके पास नहीं हो सकती लाइक समथिंग लाइक दैट सो उसका कितने एक्सटेंड तक हम उस पर ट्रस्ट कर सकते हैं बिकॉज यहाँ पर किसी की लाइफ और डेथ की बात हो रही है सो वी नीड टू थिंक अबाउट दैट उसके बाद हम इस एविडेंस से क्राइम सीन के बारे में क्या इंटरप्रेट कर सकते हैं दैट इज द थिंग और इस इंटरप्रेट करने के बाद जो लॉ है वो इस एविडेंस को किस तरह से देखता है एंड क्या वो इसको इवन एविडेंस कंसीडर करता है या नहीं एंड कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ में क्या एक पर्सन को इनोसेंट या गिल्टी प्रूफ कर सकते हैं जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एविडेंस सो दैट्स हाउ एनी एविडेंस वर्क सो सपोज देर इज अ प्रोसीजर इन अ केस Suppose there is any case, so and you find any evidence, let's say which is present in, in the court. So like defense and prosecution both will use for their benefit or for the against. And if it is proven that this evidence is reliable, you can rely on this. Then there will be verdict. Okay, verdict based on reasonable doubts. as well and if the jury or judge think it is so one evidence can put someone in to prison or like can take them out of that hell and there is one more thing that until and unless that person is proven guilty he is innocent that means innocent until proven guilty so i hope you understood what forensic science is and how it works and what you need to do if you are a forensic scientist this was just introduction in case you have any doubt just mention that in comment and i'll be solving them soon thank you for watching hope to see you soon